Nazari Ganeba duck. I told him that white man's medicine is stronger than Ganeba. Certainly, Chief. Give us a few minutes and we'll make your old volcano say up to. Ganeba, huh? Ganeba, huh? Hey! Nebo! Abakadaba! I get no way of Takai. He says white man's medicine very powerful. I'll try and keep things going. The boy stood on the burning deck. His feet was burned with blisters. The fire burned as Charles as all, and now he wears a sister's. Hey, Akati. Hey, Monroe, will you please hurry? <laughs> Lay a thick trail we can't afford to miss. We can make it. Get ready to run. Take him up. Get back there. Tell him it's the white man's magic. Cut me loose. This way, McCoy. Specimens, Bill Bill? Yes. I'm classifying those I found at the base of the volcano. You know, it doesn't seem possible that only nine days ago that volcano might have destroyed us. Will it ever erupt again, Father? Yes. If the river should again find its way to the molten lava, that isn't likely. Man has improved very little during the ages, I fear. He still gives more thought to the care of his weapons and how to avoid their use. Well, perhaps you're right. But I think that even you, Doctor, will admit that there are times when a good gun comes in handy. Or a good sharp spear that makes no noise. Well, I prefer accuracy to silence. My spear is always accurate. See that knot? You better climb on this thing, Joe. Salerno. Beth, you stay here. What brings you here? We had to come, Doc. We're licked. If you don't help us, then Indians will kill us, too. Well, you may come into the camp, but remember, we're armed. Well, you ain't gonna have no trouble with us, Doc.
Where are you hurt? It's my leg. I got caught in the rocks. How did this all happen? We got some bad breaks, Doctor. I guess we had them come in on account of the way we treated you people. But that's all over now, Doctor. We'll do anything you say as long as you can solve this island. Well, I suppose we could arrange to... Uh... Just a minute, Dr. Monroe. Perhaps you can play on the doctor's sympathies, but you can't play on mine. You're a pirate, Salerno, and a murderer. And you're going to be treated as such. Well, we've surrendered, Mr. Kendall. Whatever you say, I'll have to go. You bet it will. Where are the rest of you men? The Turk and the others are dead. The Indians got them. The ship? Where is it? Well, she's safe in one of those coves on the other side of the island. That's why we surrendered. I don't understand well, that. None of us can navigate, sir. And if we stay on this island, we'll all be killed. Father, can't we do something for this man? McCoy, George, take him into the lean-to. Bill, Bill, attend to his leg. Suppose you're hungry. We're about starved, Doctor. Very well, we'll feed you. Help yourself. I don't quite know what to do, Alan. To cross the island on foot would be dangerous for the entire party. Now, if this man will take Kendall and I to the ship, we can sail it back to this side. That's a splendid idea. We could load our equipment and your treasure. We'd best start now. The forest is not safe after sundown. Okay, Solano, lead us to the ship. Yeah, yeah, sure. Keep your eye on the other two, Doctor. Don't worry, Alan. They'll not trick us again. I see him. Don't shoot. Do you know where you're going, Solano? Yes, sir. The cove's a little to the eastward. I got a little confused when we ran into that cat back there. He's still quite a ways, though. All right. Let's get on with it. Wish somebody had the good sense to bring a canteen. Take cover. Hi, Alan. Down, Tony. Quiet. I could only see something to shoot at. They're over there. I'll see if I can get behind them. Wait for my call.
that was a close one. I wonder if there are any more around. No, I, I think it's just a scouting party. Tony! Tony! We'd better push on to the coast. Lead the way, Salerno. <laughs> Well, she looks all right. All right, she's in good shape, sir. All right, let's go. It is Kendall, Solano, and that white savage. Our plan's working out. It's going to be tough working the ship with four of the crew gone. We're short-handed. I'll be glad to stand double watch, sir. Come on, get these stations now. You got into the ship's stores. Yes, sir. I guess the dog ain't used to boats. I'll see what's wearing him down in the cabin. Just a minute, Salerno. I'll inspect that cabin myself. Reach, Kendall. 